So since day one of owning my X19, I've been having some issues with it. Now you may think being a Fiat, these issues will be mechanical, but for me, it's actually been fitting in this little car. So in this episode, I'll be showing you how I installed these low profile classic bucket seats. I start off by removing the passenger seat from the car. This gives me access to the seat rails so that I can remove these to bolt the new bucket seats directly to the floor. The seat rails are spot welded to the floor of the car. So to remove these, I have to use a special spot weld drill bit. Here, I use some old engine oil as lubricant to keep the drill bit cool and make sure it lasts longer. Now that all the spot welds have been removed, I can use a chisel to pop off the seat rail. Now I repeat the exact same process for the other seat rail. Before going any further, I test fit the seat in the car to make sure everything lines up. For my install, I won't be using any seat rails as I want to sit as low as possible in the car. So instead, I measure the distance between the mounting holes on the bottom of the seat, I draw them out on the floor pan, and then drill them out. Most floor pans can be pretty thin and quite weak, so to add some extra strength, I'll be putting some supporting bars underneath the car. The floor pan of my car isn't completely flat, so I need to put a bit of a bend in the supporting rail. I first tried using a tree, yeah, that didn't really work. A hammer and a vise work much better. Now that the passenger side is finished and I can confirm that everything fits, I repeat the exact same process on the driver's side. With the seats and the rails out of the way, it's the perfect opportunity to grind everything back and apply a fresh cone of paint. For this I'll be using POR15. Applying POR15 is a three step process. First, starting with Marine Clean to degrease the surface and remove any grime. You then use Metal Ready to etch into the surface and prepare for painting. After this, you can start applying the POR15 paint. Even though my new bucket seats are quite thin and I'm mounting them to the floor of the car, my 6 foot 2 body still struggled to fit underneath the target top, so I removed some of the bottom cushioning. Before making any cuts, I measured the seat foam, so if I make any mistakes, I can get it remade to the original dimensions. It's important that you mount the seats in a way so that they don't come loose. So I'll be using some really strong high tensile bolts, Nord lock washers, standard washers, and lastly some high strength lock ties. For the final touches, I bolt in the seatbelts, drop the car to the floor, 
and I can now admire my new classic bucket seats.